All right, y'all. I'm actually going to. Uh, oh my gosh, I must actually stand up and show y'all like what my body actually looks like. I'm gonna take the mic off and everything. I'm gonna try not to wrap y'all up too long because I hate it when I'm just trying to see somebody's body in a BBL video. Like, bitch, just give me the tea and show me your body and be done with the rapping. Like, I'm not trying to hear you rap the whole time. But um, it's been about two months almost. It'll be two months on the 26th. It's the 22nd. The 22nd of the day. So, like, four more days. I'll be like eight weeks post op. And. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about the BBL, like, how much did it cost? How do I pay for it? Like, what does it feel like? Like, what does it look like now? So I'm going to answer all those questions in this little updated video. And, like, I'm going to actually stand up because it's like every time I sit in this shit, it's just like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, my, I wouldn't even want my breasts to shrink again, like, because it makes it look like they're, like, like I said in a couple of videos ago, it just makes them look like I need to stand up so y'all can see. But it like just makes them look like they're like really sagging. And I guess it's because this chair is so low and I'm like, my butt is all the way down here. I don't know. I just be looking crazy kind of in these videos. But I'm going to actually stand up um, so y'all can see everything in a second. But to answer, how did I pay for it? So there's this thing called Care Credit. And you can finance your, if your credit is good enough, you can finance the cost of your BBL and you can pay that off anywhere between six months to two years, so 24 months um, at zero interest rate. So it'll help build up your, your credit and everything like that um, as long as you pay it off within those like whatever the parameters that you set up then you could finance, you know, like have a payment plan for your um, BBL. Just make sure that your surgeon actually uh, takes care credit because some surgeons don't. My surgeon did, so that was like really tight that like they did. Um, however, usually the anesthesia cost is not covered by care credit. So you need to make sure you have that like 1100 to $1,200 saved up so you can pay for that out of pocket or have a credit card ready so that you can pay for that um how much did my particular bbl cost mm. i already had some money saved up so for me not having to travel and everything else like that it was actually around nine thousand dollars and i know a lot of people were like damn that's kind of steep i can go to like the dr whatever but I just did not feel or like Miami but I just did not feel comfortable flying you know four or five days after a BBL like I did not feel comfortable doing that like my main thing was like I will pay an extra two three thousand more to stay at home if that makes sense as opposed to flying to the DR and having to fly back in pain like I just was not trying to travel in pain or like Miami in pain like absolutely the fuck not like that was super out for me um so like just prioritize whether you would rather fly and save some money actually I don't know if it's that cheap of a cost because like almost damn near everything was included like I got two fajas like all my medication and like the follow-up appointment like everything pretty much was covered after I paid for everything so I don't know if like how much all of the BBL stuff costs like I know like people have said for certain doctors in Miami it's only three thousand four thousand dollars but I also feel like that's depending on like if you're getting a tummy tuck two and this and a third and how long you're staying because it could probably start to get more costly um as time like depending on your particular situation um so just really iron out the details of like how much things cost with the particular surgeon that you're looking into so my surgeon did a great job like i said he's actually world renowned but he's not world renowned for bbls only because again um 
in DC, we have a whole lot of politicians and like folks like that who are not like broadcasting that they got a BBL. Like we don't have a whole lot of like IG models being like, I got a BBL like in DC. I don't think DC really has that many IG models at all anyways. Um, and that's no shade to IG models or nothing like that. It's just like, we don't have that. Like in New York too, like, of course y'all have models, you know what I mean? Like runway models and shit. And I'm sure there's some IG models from New York too, but like, I don't really hear people talking about them getting BBLs up there. And that's, it's not because the surgeons up there aren't qualified to do it. I think, again, I think it's just a clientele. You know, if you're on Broadway, you might not broadcast that you have a BBL. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so, um, uh, so yeah. So, that's as far as cost. Um, I think the last time I talked to y'all was only like maybe a week in, maybe two weeks in. I can't remember. I haven't gone back to look at that video. Um, but, I'm like fully out of my fives. I can sit um, completely on my butt now. Um, I don't need a pillow anymore. Oh, let's get into like things you need. You do not need no like a uh, like, uh, booty buddy pillow or none of them shit. First of all, them things are fucking hard as shit. And your legs, like they don't want, like you think when you get a BBL, at least for me, like pre BBL, I was like, okay, well, my butt is probably gonna hurt, but I didn't expect my thighs to be sore and like not to be super explicit, but like my vagina was swollen and sore too. Because you gotta understand, like, your abdomen is right, like, the very lower abdomen is right on top, like, right over your vagina. So, if there's liposuction right there, like. That gets sore and bruised, so you can't really, like, it's brute, like, it's swollen. Like, you can't really sit down how you would expect that you could. Um, so, like, them pillows are really hard, and, like, I just had a regular fucking pillow, like, a standard pillow, folded in half and was sitting on that. Because, like, those pillows, like, those booty buddy pillows are one hardest shit. They're, like, hard. Actually, let me show y'all. Hold on. I'll be, like, I'm gonna show y'all. This shit is hard. Hold on. Never mind, I have mad shit. I have mad shit on top of that pillow, and I'm too lazy to take it off. Anyway, so it's hard. Like, it's going to hurt your legs. Like, your legs are going to be sore. It hurts to sit on it. Like, don't buy it. Like, I'm going to keep it a stack with you. Don't even waste your fucking money. Like, I found a cheaper one on Amazon for, like, 50 as opposed to, like, the 100 But, like, don't don't buy it. It's not worth it. It's not worth your money. Like, my son plays with it as a block at this point like it's not it's not worth it don't don't buy it um so what else oh as far as other products that you're definitely going to need if you can go on amazon and this is by outdoor life adventures i don't know if y'all can see this okay and it's a silicone so it's so urinal because you're not going to be able to sit down to pee like and if you're a dude though and you're going to be PO, like this doesn't apply to you like your dick actually might be kind of sore because again like they're going to be like probably life and stuff like right above your penis so it might be actually sore I don't know how that would work um but anyways I don't know um but again if you're a woman get this girl it's a lifesaver. It's portable. It come in a little baggie or whatever. I would like spray it out with bleach and rinse it out after every use just because I'm like a clean freak. Um, but this was really helpful because you can't sit to pee. And like the first couple of days, you're going to need somebody to help you because um, you're just going to be out of it. But that goes without saying. Um, another thing that I found really helpful as far as like once I took my padding off was like these puppy pads. Like I would use this as padding within my faja because it wasn't super thick 
and I can like strategically place it how I want it to within my file. So if you can get these, like I didn't have any drainage or leakage whatsoever. I literally don't even have any scars from it because I literally just got lipo. I don't have any incisions for real. Like all of the little tiny incisions that they did literally required like two stitches. So I don't even have any scars anymore. Like they're fading so quickly. Um, I really want to get the video though because like it would show you where the scars are and like or would be and like <sighs> the video was so bomb too. I'm just like so like why did y'all take that out? Anyways, I'm gonna get it from so you all can see it. Um also I know a lot of people get the like lymphatic massages or like the ultrasound massages. I decided to opt out of that only because I'm you I usually heal fairly quickly without much help in like I usually like heal really quickly just in general like if I, I've broken bones I've had a baby like and all of those things I've healed so quickly to the point where they were like kind of surprised at how fast I healed so I was just like I feel like I'll be fine without um purchasing any of those type of massages but what I did do so that I could massage on myself and like my spouse could massage on me is purchase this from Amazon you could put it in your bag you could put it anywhere and it's like a rolly ball and this gets all of the kinks out like for real you can get like I really don't even know why they tell you to get the massages when there's shit like this for like eight dollars on Amazon because this will really get like all of those kinks out like it'll it can get like you can get kind of rough with yourself with this and i still use this i use this in the shower because the part that i felt like they didn't really tell me about the swelling is like okay around the three month mark all the swelling will basically stop but i'm still at the point where i don't have water weight swelling anymore or bruising and swelling from that but because of the friction of the liposuction I have a uh, like my actual abdomen muscle and my back muscles like those muscles are bruised still kind of like not bruised but they're like it feels like I did a serious like ab and like core and back workout so they're still kind of sore and they swell from time to time like they'll like the actual muscle itself will like swell it's kind of strange to and it'll feel like lumps like like you have bulges on you and i really get one like right here a lot of times and i still it's not as bad because i'm massaging so frequently but this side at, at one point was looking real lopsided because it was like a bulge that made the skin tight like it was tight right here and it was a bulge from like my um muscle being swollen right there but that's like going down quite a bit so like my body is starting to even out and starting to feel more um uniform it's actually starting to look more even and symmetrical because at one point this side was like looking real swollen like it's still a little bit more swollen like sore and swollen on this side like that lump is still kind of there but this actually gets it out pretty good but i just like constantly have to like i have to do it kind of frequently every day at least for 20 minutes um in order to get you know that that lump out um so i am still sore around my abdomen but i can touch without like feeling like i'm dying or anything like that um so yeah let me like oh my god i've just been like okay all virgo season i was watching all like extraction videos of like white head black head extraction but it's about to be leaving se season so i've been watching all like makeup tutorials and trying to close again i'm like ooh, because my body feels better but like my breasts i feel like have gotten like because again he like i already had the breast reduction surgery you know three years prior in 2015 but he went in like there was a dog year so that means like when 
in brush in any surgery where they're sewing two pieces of skin together that can like there can cause a fold in the skin that's like that like protrudes like a dog ear on a on a book or something where you fold it like that and it just it's like that piece you know what I mean so he like took that piece off so this press is still kind of like more swollen and bigger than other and I'm just waiting for this to completely stop being so full and my breast to like go back down but I feel like I've gained some weight I'm actually trying to lose like 10 pounds which they like again advise you not to do when you have a Brazilian butt lift but I just feel so like still really full <laughs> like I'm just like I'm not used to this I wanna like I'm back to fitting in mm, in my bottom still I don't know and my bottoms, I can wear some of my size eights like I was before. Um, so I think I'm like kind of fitting into a size eight, but it kind of like, yeah, I can still fit in my size eights. Um, but you know, I want to like solidly fit into a size eight again because it's kind of still kind of shaky and like a, the top is just like, oh my god, I don't know what's going on with my breast, but. I'm gonna stand up and like move the camera back and everything so that you all can kind of see. Um, so like I said, there's no like swelling in my abdomen from fluid or skin or fat being there anymore. It's just kind of like swollen because the actual muscles are swollen. Um, and like I haven't reached the fluffing period yet. I'll probably reach that in about four more weeks and I guess I'll update you all then. But I think this is like the amount of fat that has stayed since then but every time I look at it on camera though I'm not gonna lie it doesn't look as big as it does in real life maybe that's a good thing maybe I don't know but like in real life it's like noticeable you know what I mean but um on camera it's not as noticeable as you would think um I don't know it's not as noticeable as you would think but I would advise oh my gosh Actually, let me rant for a second before I stand up. I know. I said I wasn't going to do this, but I have to. So, I was really thinking about it. And I'm like, bruh, people, okay, first of all, breast implants were taboo when I was coming up in, like, high school and stuff, like, 10, 10, 14, 15 years ago. That was taboo. Um, but now they're not anymore. If somebody tell you they got breast implants, you probably wouldn't even ask or wonder if somebody had breast implants anymore. Like, you probably wouldn't even care. Um, so I don't understand why Brazilian butt lifts are so taboo or, like, anything like that anymore. Like, I don't understand it. Because would you walk around with your teeth jacked up if you had access to get braces? No. Like, I really hate the whole, oh, God made you how you are, so you should stay like that I'm like no God put us here where we have medical technology and plastic surgery like you don't still have your gap or them fugly teeth that you had when you were 12 so you can't judge nobody for getting plastic surgery but then again I was watching these like you know if you know anything about South Korea like oh my god like everybody is getting surgery there and it's like making them into like this unrealistic looking society and the girls are getting younger and younger to get plastic surgery and the guys too are getting younger and younger and getting plastic surgery so they can you know look a certain way and make sure they get married and present themselves a certain way for social media which I think is weird because I didn't get a Brazilian but lift for social media because if you follow me on social media you would know like I don't even post my butt like or my body that much anyway and I'm like not doing it to thirst trap or nothing like that um, or like to gain notoriety, at least not right now. But then again, there's a bag in there. There is the bag. You can secure the bag if your body look good and you could dress and you could take nice pictures. So I don't know. That's like my conflict right now. It's like Aries, my Aries son and my Libra moon talking to each other because the, the Libra moon was like, bitch, you could secure the bag. You better be bad as shit. And then my air sounds like that. All of that shit is dumb, girl. Shut the fuck up. You know? I... And in Brazil, they like, they like have this theory that like everybody deserves to look their best. And that plastic surgery isn't just about 
the physical it's about your mental and it helps boost your like mental esteem and how you feel about yourself so a lot of plastic surgery down there is like free or very low cost because they believe even the poor deserve plastic surgery down there and like i watched a documentary about it and it kind of made sense and it wasn't like real superficial in a way it was like mothers who had babies and they like still had excess skin and they just wanted to get rid of it because it's like damn can i be like can't i feel my best like can't i feel my best can't i live my best life without people judging me like can't i feel my best you know what i mean (sighs) but then again you got these young girls and young boys who like have these unnatural standards of what beauty looks like and what they're supposed to look like so i don't know because you have the k clan y'all know who i'm talking about and they will not admit to plastic surgery but after getting brazilian butt lift and getting you know breast reduction and lift i know that for sure most of the women in that family for certain for certain have brazilian butt lifts and lip injections and everything else and again that's fine just be honest about that shit because you have people looking up to you and you have girls you know the younger ones in the family are you know especially when they were younger and starting to transition they 16 17 18 looking 25 30 because they got ass and titties and lips and they're not being honest about the fact that they got surgery for real on everything they got surgery on and you got kids the same age girls the same age feeling incompetent and feeling crazy as shit because they think this is the standard and they think this is what they are supposed to look like because they do not admit that you know they got surgery just be real about your shit like you got surgery that's fine whatever just like live your life it doesn't mean shit people get braces and i don't see the difference between getting a brazilian butt lift and getting braces because you could walk around here with them teeth but you ain't want to i bet you didn't but you feel what i'm saying like what's the difference for real it's about about your appearance you got braces that ain't had nothing to do like you could still chew you could still eat but you people probably making money you were saying you look crazy as shit and i'm sure that hurt your feelings so you have braces or whatever and that's fine but you know what i mean like i just feel like i don't know it's just like so many sides to it that you gotta be like it's so many angles so at the end of the day do you do what's best for you do what makes you feel best because I was talking to my friend earlier today and I was like I do not have body in me anymore like I don't see Drea or like Bernice or any of those people be like oh my god like her her body just looks so fine I can't wait for my body to get like that like now I'm just like okay like I could wake up every morning and feel great about my body and that does play a part of my mental psyche I feel great like I feel great because like my body looks great and I feel great and I've always been healthy well at least I've been healthy for a long time for at least 15 years you know what I mean I wasn't that healthy as a child by my own choosing but like when I got older and was able to cook my own food do my own thing like I was you know I've been healthy for a while so it's not about health either but you know like yeah so whatever but yeah let me actually stand up so I could show y'all. I don't know if it's gonna show, but just black. But hopefully, this background's so bright, y'all be able to see it. Hold on. Actually, can I stand up with this? Maybe. Hold on. I don't know. I'm about to see. Can y'all see? All right. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Like, it don't even look like you can kind of see. Oh my god. Like, you can kind of see what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, my boobs just be looking so big. In this joint, and like this isn't fat, like this is just like this isn't even skin, y'all. This is literally like my muscles still being swollen right here, like it's really still swollen muscle right here. And like I'm waiting for the swelling to complete, like you feel what I'm saying, like I'm waiting for the swelling to completely go down in my abdomen, but like oh, it just don't look as big, like in real life. Like, it's way bigger in, like, <laughs> real life. That's why I'd be, like, young. It just, maybe it's the angle. I don't know. Anyways, but, like, hold on. Maybe if I do it, hold on, this trunk. Maybe, if, you know what I mean? Like, it looks, oh, that's not helpful. Oh, my God. I don't know. This is, like, kind of crazy how I'm trying to do this. Because nobody's in here with me. 
So it's like I'm not. Oh my god. The back is like flat now. There's no fat on. This is all like bone now. But. I don't know. It looks better than look real life. Maybe this angle is just crazy. And it, like I said, it does look like I still have a gut. But this is like, like I said, there is no, there, like I'm not, like there's, this is just skin on top of swollen muscle still. Like this is skin on top of like my abs are still, sw like the muscle in my abdomen are still swollen. So I'm like waiting for those to like, I'm just waiting for that to like um, go down. But hopefully that was helpful. I know I have, like, a lot of people who are, like, asking me about Brazilian butt lifts. Like, hit, comment. Let me know what you think. Like, my butt just does not look as big in the video. That's what makes me mad because I'm, like, I want, like, it's, it's like, way bigger for real. It's, like, big in real life. Like, certain pictures, like, I don't actually post pictures. I'll post pictures of shadows of my butt because... You know, we got to keep it kind of classy and kind of keep it almost like PG-13. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm not disrespectful to my spouse or whatever, like posting ass on the internet. But then again, it's the bag and that. So we got to like consult. Like, I've been like consulting. I've been like, I mean, I don't got to be butt naked, but a little bikini pick here and there. The bag is there. The coin is there. You feel what I'm saying? So, the coin is there. So, okay. But, yeah, I'll, um, I, I guess I'll update y'all in like another month or so. And hopefully, I, if not, it might be sooner if I can get that video sooner, the actual procedure video, because I do want you all to see that because it will show you my procedure in particular and like what i was talking about how i literally only have like uh incisions from the light bulb i don't have any other incisions because i really would prefer for y'all not to get a whole lot of incisions because that shit sound like it hurt and it sound like it might as well be a fucking c-section i ain't get a c-section i actually talk about my whole birthing process and like what i did while i was pregnant and all of that because my snapback was legendary like my birth was legendary i got witnesses like it was bomb um but i'll talk to y'all sooner than later and again comment below if you have questions let me know you know you can follow me on uh instagram and twitter at falazool and uh yeah just let me know what y'all think um, hopefully the swelling in my abdomen fully goes down because it's so annoying, especially on camera because y'all can't see how big my butt actually looks, but maybe it's because also I'm not recording, like I'm recording this with like a stand and whatever, and I don't have somebody actually like holding it. I don't know the camera for me. I don't know, but stay tuned. There's more to come. Um, like I said, I'm posting mad videos because I've been loafing for like a month and a half trying to learn Japanese and watching anime so there's that <laughs> all right so peace out and yeah comment below just let me know just let me know hit me up hit me up